Hey guys, we're going to be looking at the level 1 maths algebra paper from 2013, day 1, question 1f. So the question, it looked like this. Uh, h equals n squared minus 6n plus 8. For what values of n will h be negative? Okay, now there is uh, pretty much as an easier way of, um, of doing this, but I, I do want to cover the concepts behind it. So I guess what you can kind of do is you can start by guessing and checking first. So for example, I'll just put a, make a table where I'll say n and then h on one side. Now n is, I'm just going to leave it as purple right now, and the h is in red. So because h is equal to that function n squared minus 6n plus 8, what I could say is h is equal to n squared minus 6n plus 8. Now in the first line, if n equals 1, then I need to figure out what h is when, when n equals 1. So that means I'm going to go 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 8. And if I do 1 squared minus 6 plus 8, um, I actually get 3. Then I repeat the process again, but instead of 1, this time I tried with 2. So 2 squared minus 6 times 2 plus 8. And this is equal to 0. And if I keep going, so just couple of, add a couple of lines here. So if I do 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 8, I end up getting minus 1. And if I do 4 squared minus 6 times 4 plus 8, I'm going back to 0. And if I do 5 squared minus 6 times 5 plus 8, I get th 3. And then finally 6 squared minus 6 times 6 plus 8 and this equals to 8. So as you can see you can um, it says the question says for what values of n will h be negative? Uh, h is positive when n is 1 um, and when it's 5 and 6 but it's negative when it's 3 and we can kind of see that it's 0 at 2 and 4 when n equals 2 and 4. Now let me just show you guys how this looks like if I plot these points n and h. So there we go. Um, on the x-axis where we have the endpoints and then we have on the y-axis the h-points. So you can kind of see a curve that's happening there. Now if we actually draw n squared minus 6n plus 8 you would get a parabola which looks like this little shape here. So what we can see from here is that when n equals 2 um, h is 0, so that's where this is. And then when n equals to 4, h is also 0. So what you can kind of see is that between 2 and 4, the values are negative. So if we write it up, write this up as, I mean, doing this, the algebraic method, we have h equals n squared minus 6n plus 8. So we're trying to say that h has to be negative. So we're looking for 0 well, n squared minus 6n plus 8 has to be less than 0. So, what we can do is we can factorize this as n minus 4 and n minus 2. Now, if you think back to your solving a quadratic, it is just simply putting this equal to 0. So, we would get n equals positive 4 or positive 2. So, what this is telling you is that the 4 and 2 are the solutions. But, between 4 and 2, h is going to be negative. So h is negative between when n equals 2 and n equals 4. So if you guys look back at the graph now, see that blue part right there? So that's where h is negative between when n equals 2 and n equals 4. And that's how you answer this question. Alright guys, thanks for watching.